I'm out of here! Damn! Come on! Come on! Come here! Okay. Alright, that makes me feel a little bit better about life. Ooh, some drugs. Welcome back to another episode of Game Sun Slow and Bad, where we play games slowly and most often badly. And in our last episode, Mary of the Mojave, using a fairly large amount of high explosives, uh, managed to carve her way through the uh, NCR Correctional Facility, uh, where we get to see the Warden's picture. This lovely picture where they gave him a wig, some beautiful makeup. These are good for the Warden. Just, uh... Yep, yeah, there we go! Now, we cleared this place out. Uh, things appear to have went sideways. I played another game through and took out the Powder Gangers in Good Springs and did not get nailed with a, uh, a relationship debuff uh, with the Powder Gangers, which leads me to believe that in a very New Vegas way... Um, oh, come on, I'm stealing from thieves who are dead, as it turns out. I uh, definitely have no guilt about that. Uh, as it turns out, that's a bug. Um, some sort of bug likely due to an interaction between a bunch of things that I'm running simultaneously. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was that was interesting. You should, uh, within this game, yeah, give me a break. You should be able to run in here after uh, knocking off Joe Cobb and still be friends with these guys. Uh, keep giving me the... You, you did bad sound. Um, and for whatever reason, it just did not want to let that interaction happen, which is baffling to me, because um, I don't think I've ever had that happen before. But in any event, with a large amount of explosives, we were able to, um, to survive. And not only survive, but I would argue thrive. Um, I'd argue that we made it through there as good as anybody could have made it through here. And man, do we have some loot. Ooh, we have some loot to show for it. Um, I am going to collapse some of that loot, and I think we'll uh, see if I have a key for this. No? Maybe the Warden's Terminal is still unlocked? Uh, guard transfers to the east. They're transferring uh, away three more of my men. Uh, they tell me it's uh, all to keep the situation at the dam under control, but what about this place? The situation here uh, has become dangerous for my men, and I, I know it. My men know it, and the prisoners know it. It's only a matter of time before something happens. Clearly that happened. Comments on the Caesar's Legion threat. It sounds like they're just another bunch of raiders, but their high-ups back west seem to be a serious threat. So this guy clearly has not interacted with the Legion, which we'll see uh, significantly uh, more put together than raiders. James, you and I served together for seven years, and I'm calling in a favor. I need you to convince General Oliver to stop transferring my men out of here to uh, and to deliver the replacements I was promised. I'm expected to put these prisoners to work making new rail lines and fixing the existing ones, but I can't do that if they don't have if I don't have any guards to keep an eye on them. Does the general really expect the handful of men I have left to be able to keep several dozen uh, hardened men in line? You owe me for that time in Modoc. Don't let me down, Nathan. Uh, so yeah, a bit of interesting storytelling. So we don't really learn much uh, except that we can read the terminals, and we see that the warden had formally requested uh, a resupply, essentially. Uh, because all of his men were transferred to go fight the Legion. Well, because all of his men were transferred to go fight the Legion, uh, things got out of control. Uh, because things got out of control, uh, the Powder Gangers managed to come to power, and uh, this is what we see today. The place is absolutely trashed. And, uh, yeah. If you complete this another way, um, which I'm actually thinking about throwing together a video of... Uh, all the different resolutions that we don't show here. Things you might not have seen. Uh, if you play this, though, I'm going to air quote right way, uh, you actually see the NCR come in and take out the powder gangers in the facility. It's a really good opportunity for you to potentially collect good gear from the NCR uh, if they get KO'd in the fight. But as promised, today we're going to prim, and I did not receive any feedback on what we're going to do. I personally am seriously uh, we can also do something else uh, get my leather armor back on 
we'll keep this in reserve, but it's not going to be very helpful uh, here coming up because we are going to Prim, and Prim is still held by the NCR. So I didn't get any feedback, but I'm partial to one resolution to this that I think is super clever because the game doesn't tell you it exists. Apparently I missed this guy. Huh. You think I would have picked up that shotgun? You know what it is? I think I came in here and just shot for my life and then ran out and I must have taken that guy down. So, you can see the monument next to Good Springs right there. We're going to head up this ridge. And actually... What's that? Seven hours? It'll do eight hours. Uh, one of the nice things about this game is the waiting system is very similar to Skyrim in that I can wait anywhere and then once I see the light come out, I can sort of kick out. Um, I'm not going for stealth this run, so I don't need to travel around at night. This is the correctional facility. Uh, remember that place for later in the game, because we'll be going back there. And if I can get to the top of this ridge, uh, we see Good Springs. Uh, the Good Springs water tower. And we see Prim. And, uh, is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah, I totally think it is. He's got a 22. Um, what do we got? Man, we got a lot of knives. Um, get some dynamite. Ah, you know what? Single shotgun. This will be fine. Oh, and I actually wanted to do one other thing. Normal difficulty is a little easy. Let's go to hard. That could be more fun. Or horrible. We'll see. Okay, you cannot do that. No. Alright, stop it. That was annoying. Um, yeah, we should have a lot more fun in hard. And by fun, I mean it's going to be a lot more painful. Um, but I am finding it's way too easy and normal. Normally I would play this on like a survival type difficulty uh, if it were just me. Um, but for the sake of making things more interesting for you, the viewer, I'm, um, I'm going to play it on a lower difficulty. And you might be saying, would it be more interesting on the higher difficulty? Eh, it doesn't add more enemies, it doesn't really change the fights, it doesn't change my strategies. I just die more because I take more stupid gambles. Um, you know, it doesn't actually add anything too interesting. Uh... We're going to actually head up and grab one thing that I do want to grab before we go through. And man, the, the retexture mods and the uh, foliage mods really do add. Um, this place looks a lot nicer. Oh, what is that? Gecko Hunter? Yeah. Really does add. There's actually uh, some powder gangers up here. Ooh. Really? Oh, crit strike. Oh, is it a crit strike on me or a crit strike on him? It has to be a crit strike on me. That's why my arm is crippled. That is... That is unfortunate. Uh, there's some powder gangers over there. And... I think we did such a thorough job cleaning them out elsewhere that I feel as though it is our moral obligation to deal with the rest of them. And that is radiation. So we're going to stay away from that glowing pile. Oh, that's also radiation. Uh, do I have dynamite hotkey? I do. Alright. Uh, so. I promise not to do a lot of sneaking, but I do want to try and drop a piece of dynamite on top of these guys. Also, I am not healing. should get it done, or at least uh, set me in the right direction. I am still crippled. So what we're going to try and do is get over here and lob some dynamite over this truck. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I love the death cam. It has no idea what to do.
if a stick of dynamite explodes hey. in the woods and it killed everybody. Oh, oh, what? Is there someone else alive? Or did a truck explode? What happened? Well, that is odd. I promise to keep this as much out of the realm of... Okay. Something just exploded. What the hell was that, and should I be concerned? Oh, the truck. Okay, no worries. Alright, I think that everyone's dead. Oh, radiation, that's okay. Okay, enough of that. Um, so here's a note. Note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should uh, make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north. Head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. So, contextual, uh, you know, storytelling. When you add all these pieces together, um, nobody speaks for the powder gangers, right? There isn't, like, a central powder ganger authority. Uh, but you can see that they all sort of have the same general thought process that they need to uh, they need to head north because supplies that they're able to raid from caravans are finally drying up. People are getting wise to the fact that uh, traversing this stretch of road is not safe. Um, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of storytelling. I am going to do something. I'm not going to do a whole bunch in this series and probably speed this up. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, we're back. That was a little um, speed up there. I am not going to do a whole bunch of speed ups uh, in this series. I like to play it as it lands, and these will probably be a little longer, I'm finding, because there's just so much. It's it's such a good game. There's so little I want to cut out. It needs to be played through to completion. All right, so this is, uh, what was the name, the official name? This is Lone Wolf Radio. Uh, but if you play the game, you know it as a place you can find scrap electronics and a wasteland survival guide. So, in the game, there are skill magazines and skill books. Skill magazines are a temporary effect. Skill books are a permanent effect. Some sensor modules. These will come in handy here very shortly. Um, so, skill magazines are great to carry around because they're light. You can get a pretty substantial boost off of them. And uh, they generally bridge the gap so that you don't have to raise a skill above 90. Um, there's still obviously benefits to raising a skill above 90, uh, but you don't have to because of these. Oh, hello. Come on. Come eat some dynamite. Come on, I got plenty. This is the least efficient way of hunting ever. There we go. Alright. Oh, wow. You took that like a champ. Good job. There we go. That's more like it. So, skill books, on the other hand, do not award as much of a boost. However, they are permanent. So, this is like almost like getting a free partial level up every time you find one. This makes them uh, not mandatory, but highly recommended if you're going to try to complete the game 100%. Because it can be awfully grindy to get to those final levels. There we go. Uh, later in this game, it does become harder and harder to get levels. Early on, it's pretty simple. I would highly, highly recommend, if you are playing, to seek out the magazines. If you want this to be a pure experience, look carefully. And look in places that contextually make sense, right? 
Uh, you're gonna find a science book in a sciency area. You're gonna find a survival book in a, you know, outpost on top of a ridge sort of concept there. What are you? Oh, fight. So this is a scripted fight. It's interesting. Okay, I am doing horrendous. I'm not going to waste another shotgun shell. What do we got? A knife. Do I have a baton? A cleaver? That'll do. Cool cube. So melee in this game is pretty simplistic. Um, you swing, you swing, you swing. I believe as you level up, there's a potential to get some more advanced uh, attacks. Uh, but generally, you're just sort of swinging for your life. And VATS is a, I think, double damage boost. Um, so if you are melee, uh, VATS. VATS, 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 VATS. You want all, all the VATS. So here we are encountering our first NCR flag. And you can see it's the traditional California flag, but the bear has two heads. It says the New California Republic on it. I always found that to be neat. Uh, it was wanted to see what the Commonwealth flag would be. Um, in Fallout 4, and I don't think we ever get an official hey, where the flag. hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Prim's off limits? Thanks for the warning. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. You're super you interesting. You a tent down the road. Okay. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Alright, west side of the overpass. No problem. So, if you are just going to optimize, um... There is all the ammunition you could possibly want in the world over here. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from stealing everything that isn't bolted down. Unless I can really justify in my head stealing. Because I, I don't need more ammo. There's a guy there. Uh, there's two posts. And then you come into this little tent city over here. There's Sergeant McGee out here. And Sergeant Hayes is in the tents, as described. These guys are not I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub, originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. So that's an interesting little bit of conceptual storytelling. All of these folks who are deployed here, this is not their first go around. They have now been through a second deployment here. Um, and it seems like from the accommodations that they're basically sleeping on the ground. This is basically an active war zone. Uh, this is a place you can get really good armor, NCR armor, um, if you want to disguise yourself as NCR. Again, Morning. I, as I said previously, I'm going to try not to steal everything that isn't bolted down. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm the Lieutenant Legion Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. Ugh. What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Can I tell them that I, I killed all the convicts? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. So this is interesting because it implies that the NCR, despite being this huge body, is actually having a hard time keeping all of its little offshoot veins well supplied. The, the correctional facility fell because it didn't have the supplies and manpower it needed, and now the effort to hold back that correctional facility breakout is hampered by the same problem. Most people just call it NCRCF, that's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. We already know that because we read all the notes. If you didn't talk to him, you'd, know, uh, you'd still know. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some free time. Ask away. All right. So unfortunately, I cannot tell him that I've already taken care of the facility and they can go take it. 
Um, but what we can do to this guy as a favor is we can liberate the town of Krim by ourselves. Um, and don't expect any support from these guys. Despite being stationed like 15 feet away from where you're going, uh, these guys will not help you one bit. Alright, I got plenty of... Actually, I want to save that intentionally. Um, I'm going to switch over to a actual ballistic weapon. Um, because I'm going to need to make some distant shots. I'm not going to go through sniping, but these guys... This is a wide open battle area. Uh, the shotgun tactic is not going to work nearly as well. Although, actually... If I can get into this building over here, and I can lure him over with some dynamite, that might work. Okay, that actually works. Um, so this is a bl uh, blown out building. We see the Mojave Express building right here. We obviously need to go talk to them because we were Mojave Express couriers, and that was the whole reason we got shot. So it'd be nice to find out why uh, we were shot in the head, if at all possible. This shouldn't be stealing, but we got a Milserp review. So clearly somebody was into guns and set up a little post up here to try and uh, defend the town. That's not going to work for me. Uh, do we still have the recharger? Actually, do I get a bonus with this? I might. Let's try. Alright. Could be on the wall. Oh, shoot! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Okay. Okay, so this didn't work. Okay. So this degraded into a shotgun fight. Um... You know, hard mode might be a little harder than I thought. Where are you going? Get back here! <laughs> He's cowering! Oh, that's awesome. This is hopeless! <laughs> I'm just gonna chase you for a little while. Oh, this is amazing. Um, what's embarrassing? What do I got? I'm out of here! Damn! Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come here. Okay. Alright. That makes me feel a little bit better about life. Ooh, some drugs. Alright, drugs in this game are amazing. If you played 4, addiction is a real problem. Because 4 obviously had more survival elements. New Vegas does not have nearly the level of survival elements. And as such consequences don't really exist for doing things like getting addicted i mean yeah there's consequences to it but there's so many doctors in this game it's it's pretty easy to deal with what do we got so this is um the uh the bite the bison steve hotel i believe this is actually based on a real hotel uh, out there in prim it's got the uh Roller coaster track going around it, um, which unfortunately is in disrepair. And there are convicts up on top of it. There we go. And uh, Prim basically consists of this casino and that casino, the Mojave Express, and a couple of houses up that way. Uh, let's explore some of the shanties that were erected clearly after the apocalypse, because uh, this is obviously a new building. So, as you just heard, um, one of the things about the way New Vegas handles um, death scenes is if you have a death scene, if somebody dies in a level and they're trying to show the person's body to you, um, just for storytelling. The death actually takes place when you walk into the space. Said differently, 
these two bodies, Sheriff McBain and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. McBain, um, they were alive when I walked in here, and then the game inflicts a ridiculous amount of damage on them to make them explode. So this is the Sheriff's Duster, which I will gladly take, and the Sheriff's Hat, which I will gladly take. Um, and basically what's implied here is that the uh, Powder Gangers came in here, wrecked the place up, killed them while they were asleep, and that's when they went on to take over the city. And this is Deputy Beagle, his residence. We'll meet him shortly. What's important about this is that... I can get some experience. Um, nothing I need. But what's important about this, and what makes this dramatically different from other games, um, even as other Fallout games, is if I need to progress, and I, I normally would need to talk to this person, if I don't feel like talking to this person, I can come in here, and a diary will pop into that box if he dies. Um, so, I could just disregard this quest altogether and just keep walking right through Prim. Because we know that the folks we're looking for moved right through Prim. Um, or, I can spend time and do this quest line, and bring Law back, and talk to the deputy. If the deputy dies, I'm, dies, I'm still okay. What do we got here? Daniel... Uh, Wayand, and he has a Mojave Express delivery order. So we'll read that note here in a second. Okay. I might have to kill the audio here until I can find where to shut this off. There we go. Um, so there's a problem. Uh, try to fix it. Repair it. 65. Repair with parts. Scrap metal, sensor module, scrap electronics. Can I repair it with science? Scrap metal. I think I need one more scrap metal. So this is why I picked up the sensor modules and the scrap electronics earlier. I think I might be one scrap metal short. That's probably okay. So there's a programmer's digest and a fixing things back here. What is my current level? Repair is 50. With that, it'd be 60. I think I need 65. 65. Okay. We'll come back for him. So that I bought over there is a companion. It's actually, I think, one of the earliest companions you run into. Um, and it's sort of like a pet, I would describe it as. It's not your, like, main traveling companion. It gives you all the perks of a main companion. They fight for you. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plan. Town's gone to hell. Uh, who are you? Johnson Nash, my name. Husband to Ruby now. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. What? Well, nice. I'm a trader primarily. For what it's worth, things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I got shot in the head because of you. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Sure. Oh, you're talking about one of them, Pat. That job had strange written all over. Excellent. But we couldn't turn down the cat. Um, I don't care. But where do I find this guy? Well, that now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for a supply. Okay. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Uh, they shot me. Where'd they go? Well, for that, your best bet is oh, going to be talking to Deputy yep. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Can I now talk to you and trade? Hey, youngster. I believe I can. Yes. So, this is my first non-Good Springs uh, trading opportunity. Um, and if you have managed to spawn in the guy for the uh, bo star bottle caps, and you have the trader's outfit, you definitely want to put that on. Hey, youngster. Still. Because you won't get great, uh, great 
money back from a group you don't have a reputation with. So you should boost it however you can. But I don't want to carry this stuff around anymore. It is too heavy. There you go. You got anything in the way of weapons that I might want? Given um, given my loadout here, uh, dynamite. Oh, come on. The dynamite. Um, this. I will take a caravan shotgun. They are pretty wonderful. And I will take some stim packs. I will take all of your cases. And I will take all your 20 gauge. I'll take your special 20 gauges. And I think that's about it. What else can I give you? Apparel. Um, I'm not going to wear the goggles with the helmet. You can have this powder ganger equipment. I'm not going to need that anymore. This trooper helmet is not going to help me out. And what else do I want to give you? Because I don't want, want to give you my money, but I can give you all of my junk. Things I won't use. What do we got? I'm not a huge fan of buff out as a drug. It has, it has its purposes. This coyote meat can be yours. This dog meat can be yours. This gecko meat can be yours. Hydra's a wonderful, wonderful drug. Um, jalapeno peppers. And uh, okay. another satisfied customer. I'm going to something really quick. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to run into problems with audio here. Radio? There we go. Okay. I uh, I didn't realize until then that the hey, audio was playing good. in the background. Uh, and that, that can be a problem if you're recording this game. Because basically everything is uh, copyrighted. Um, okay. Well, that is a good place to be there. Now, we know he's in the Bison Steve. And we're playing a fairly good build here. I think the only thing that makes sense is to gamble. No, it's to go rescue him. Um, for that, we're going to use our new uh, caravan shotgun. Caravan shotguns are an over-under shotgun. This is an interesting weather effect. I'm going to go inside because this is kind of annoying. Well, it's very annoying. Somebody hit me with something, and it hurt. Come on. Oh, I'm already running into armor. That is a problem. Okay, stop for a second. This is why I uh, keep a very healthy amount of food on me. And I will use two healing powder. Shotgun? He might be using a shotgun. That might be why I'm getting absolutely chewed apart. There we go. Okay. Alright, so hard mode. No joke. Hard mode. It's named because it's hard. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I am going to have to do something about the effects related to this weather. I, I enjoy it. I think it's great. I really do. Oh, I'm not wearing any armor. That's why I'm dying. We're gonna fix up this hat, maybe? No? Okay. Come on. There we go. Um, general settings. Switch mode? Is a way to switch this, I believe. Yes. Okay. Well, I do appreciate it, and if I were playing by myself, uh, I'd be okay with it. I find that super distracting, and as, as a person who consumes YouTube content, I would not enjoy what's going on right now. 
So, for the love of God, please stop that. Or I'm gonna have to uninstall this mod. I really like this mod. I feel like it has really good immersion. But, um... should be able to wait, hopefully. I can't wait because there's enemies nearby. Okay. I'm going to walk outside and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for a moment because this is super annoying and I don't appreciate this at all. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that mod is going to have to get shut off. That is distracting as F. Alright, so he had a varmint rifle. Alright, so there's two play two ways you can handle this. You can go in hot, or you can go in quiet and stealthy. I think we know how I'm gonna go in. Come on, come get me. Well, I guess you don't have a leg up on the competition. <laughs> Leather armor. Yep. I'll take that incinerator. Uh, I think incinerators fall within our blowy, uppy, splody build out. Are you this hiding? Come on now. That is not becoming of a convict. Alright, and we need a few points in repair to be able to get our robot. And, uh,. I would not mind having some more explosive, because that's going really well. But I could also use some lockpick, so let's put 30 in the lockpick. Done. Okay. You must be... Oh! I was going to say, you must be... <laughs> you must be our, uh... Our victim. I'm surprised you're sitting. Here, deputy. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, I heard you have information I need. We could probably trade. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Yeah. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. <laughs> you don't look helpful. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. All right, so we'll go and talk to him in a bit, but we have uh, one other thing I need to do. First, I'd like to take all the booze, because why not? He's going to run out of here uh, like he is running away from uh, some sort of evil demon. And uh, I fill up more gear because I'm going to the second floor. There's a second floor? Gasp! Yes, there is. 
and it's uh, as much fun as the first floor in that it's not very much fun so normally someone would do this by going over here opening this door and walking upstairs da 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 well there is an elevator but it's broken oh no but it could be repaired yeah I totally have that let's do it alright uh, actually before we do it let's uh, drink some water That should do it. Because I could use a little bit more. Help. All right, that's door outside. We are in tight quarters. Hey! You like that? Hey, eat this. Alright, there's probably another one behind him. And if there is, that should take care of it. Oh god, that was a really short throw. Come on, get me out of death camp. Oh, that was unfortunate. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, we'll stem pack. Okay. Explosives are super underrated. I don't see people in playthroughs generally use them, um, but the more I use them, and maybe it, it levels out later in the game. I have a very unfortunate uh, advantage over these guys in that I do ridiculous damage super quick. Eat this. Okay. This is an excellent kill box. I need to start thinking in terms of that. Because uh, there's very clearly... There's very clearly some... I'm hit. Some kill box type strategies you can employ here. Uh, what do we got? A medical brace and some money. We'll take the money. So early on... I've always found that this is totally worth it, strictly from the standpoint that, um, this place is full of good loot. Just filthy with good loot. You like that? Oh, you're right there. That's unfortunate. Okay. What? Okay, I was gonna say, that is not how shotguns work. I'm sorry. Shotguns don't work that way. You like that? Oh, another one of you? A splat. Is that the bad guy gone? So, once I clear this place out, I do want to go through and take a run through because there are some interesting little tidbits here. For instance, this ransom note. And if you... If you're just running through here, um, you're not going to notice this. Like, if you're just breaching and clearing... Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna see all of the neat little things that are going on. Uh, this is a suicide attempt clearly Someone taking a whole bunch of medics in psycho. There was a razor blade and clearly not having a very good time um, More drugs right here In a suitcase full of more drugs So I actually think I'm at a good point to, be able to show this off uh, notes Ransom note. If you wish to see your wife again, bring the cash in small armark bills to Bison Steve on Tuesday. So very clearly, this place is seedy as F, and right next to it is uh, is a little area. So there's a ransom note here for this guy. Yeah, I can't hide forever. Um, there's a ransom note next to that uh, room. 
there's someone using drugs in the room right next to it. This is clearly not a very good place. This is not a family-friendly location. You like that? Are you? Why do I feel like you're- oh, you're behind me. you go? Did you fall through the floor or something? Oh, you retreated down there. Okay. Well, that's a good kill box for me, so stay down there. Thank you. Oh, you are, you are a squirrely one. I am most impressed, I have to say. Alright, so... Pack of cigarettes. Now, I believe if we look around... There is somewhere in this building a bag, a duffel bag of cash. I can't remember where it was. Clearly related back to that thing we just saw um, with the ransom note. Again, it's a... It's why Obsidian, I believe, makes a superior I'm Fallout game. You. Yeah, you're gonna find me. Sure you are. What do we got in here? Some merc gear? No. I'm good, bro. You can't hide from me forever. Find you. Come on. Alright, first off, stim pack. Ouch. Second off, standard pistol. Come on. There we go. That was about enough of that. Alright. So. Take what is worth it. I believe there's a bag of cash around here. I don't need loot. I'm not concerned with loot. So I am not going to go and walk on the rails and get the stuff up there. I will let uh, the deputy clear out the rest. But I have basically cleared out the bison, Steve. Now, if you are playing and you are a character who uses guns and you're a shooty, shooty, sneaky, sneaky guy, there is a lovely pistol in this floor safe right here. I believe the name is Lucky, and I cannot recommend it highly enough if that's the type of uh, player you are going for. I'm not. I'm not at all. All right, deputy. We're. Oh, is that telling me to go to him? All right. Well, first off, well, Nashes are away, awaiting me to tell them that I am going to um borrow their magazines. Borrow. And uh, I'm gonna pop a fixing things. And I'm gonna fix this robot. Run the repair, please. Oh yeah, this is our first companion. Edie! Companion protocol begin. We get his enhanced sensors. Um, why is he great? Why are companions great in the style of playthrough that I'm doing? Well, think about it. What don't you like about companions in this game? It's that they, they don't sneak well, and they pretty much give you away every chance they get. ED, uh, ED does not do that. ED is very smart. He makes sure that I don't get shot because I can see things coming at me with his enhanced sensors. It's one. Howdy. You got that old robot up and running again? Yeah. How's I did. it working out for you? It's working great. Can I get that information? Oh no. You told me you don't have it. Uh, but what you do have is probably more ammo, and you don't actually have more ammo. Mwah. 
That's unfortunate. I was hoping that he'd have a little bit more ammo by now, but it has only been a minute. Sometimes weird things happen when I clear that quest and I'm able to uh, recoup money uh, recoup money right away by uh, clearing house. <clears throat> okay, uh, that is a lot of stuff there. I'm going to trade in some NCR dollars and call Pleasure it. doing business with you. I have 1,500 caps now. All right, Bison, uh, or Beagle, where are you? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? I absolutely Breaking don't care. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Oh, that is seriously the best logic ever. What are the qualif- You know what? I'll help. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The <laughs> sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Uh, you know what? I choose neither of those. Hey, robot. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky Advance Casino and Museum. If you want to talk about Tinny, that is the worst thing ever. Um, uh, hey, you're the sheriff now. Law enforcement protocol is reinstated, partner. <laughs> Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. I just made a robot yeah, the sheriff. I basically just invented Skynet. Aren't you happy? Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. You don't sound happy about that. My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. <laughs> Slim's all right. I don't wish him no harm, but the law to him is a set of logic. Not everything is black and white. Not sure a robot can ever understand that. Well, I mean, law should be black and white, my friend, but, um... Well, if it isn't... If you could stop being judgmental and tell me about the checkered suit guy. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was skull, uh, uh, performing recon, <laughs> gathering information on some of the powder gangers, Skulking. when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? Yes, they said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. All right, and with that, we need to head Howdy. to Novak through the town of Nipton. And that is really interesting because it opens up a couple of options for us. I'm just going to ignore that body over there. Um, basically, we have to go south. And there's a few points of interest south. Uh, we're going to be confronted with Caesar's Legion. And we have to make a decision as to how we want to treat those guys. Because it's going to be pretty apparent that they are bad guys. So, for the next episode... I think that we're going to make some really significant plot decisions for the early game. There's the NCR up on the ridge, and there's a legion in town. How should we greet them? Should we greet them with uh, understanding and try and learn more about them? Or should we greet them with scorn and anger and perhaps sticks of dynamite? Comment below. I'll throw up a poll on Twitter. And hopefully we'll get some feedback this time, and that'll help us decide how we're going to deal with the Legion and the NCR in the early game. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I greatly appreciate it. I have a ton of uh, ton of fun playing this game and recording it for you, uh, even though I might have to edit some parts of this because I think the audio uh, caught too much of the music. Oh, come on. And you know what? In between episodes, I'm going to find a way to disable these sandstorms. I love it. It's aesthetically really cool. There are sandstorms in this area in real life. I, I can't with this, though. Actually, I can't with this so much that we're going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Have a great night.